and 65 cents. Correct weight in Adelaide, 6.49 after race four. Australia's... All spades will come in alongside a special. Jet fighter in one, campaign king two. There's all spades coming up and they're set. Racing. And they jumped the right all spades, not the best away, you wouldn't expect it. Snippets began fast, Campaign King beaten for speed. Rancho Ruler, Christmas Tree and Snippets, the three three-year-olds in front early. Special going fast, Ever Ready couldn't quite go with them early to row a boy. Rodelva's is also beaten for speed. Sky Falu back last on settling down and Taj Quillo up near the leaders and just behind them Jet Fighter. Going up towards the 700, Rancho Ruler and Taj Quillo together. A length and a half to Snippets, Christmas Tree special behind them, Jet Fighter, Rodelva, Campaign King. Then Ever Ready, two to Taroa Boy, Sky Falu and All Spades. Rancho Ruler at the 300, Taj Quillo special trotted up to them with Snippets in the centre. Behind them would have been Campaign King and here's Ever Ready. Snippets tackled by Special on the outside, Rodelva and Ever Ready. Special's taken the lead and burst away from Snippets, Rancho Ruler and Campaign King and Special. Special has won, Snippet second, they've broken the record, Rodelva third, then Campaign King behind them, Ever Ready. Uh, next home would have been Rancho Ruler, with them Jet Fighter, Christmas Tree, Sky for Lou, All Space, Taroa Boy and Taj Quillo. I don't believe the time, it's 55.5. That's a whole second, Bruce. I don't think we expected to see it broken by that much. They have absolutely flown down the straight. That's the fastest any horse has ever run a thousand metres at this famous track. It is a magnificent performance, and I don't think a horse in Australasia, or certainly not in Australia, has ever run a thousand and fifty-five point five. It must be the fastest thousand metres ever run in Australia. I would think so, Bruce, but I know we've had some fast times, but that is absolutely outstanding. And the little mare special, she's always been a wonderful filly, she's a gutsy little filly, and she absolutely went to the line with her ears pricked and full of running. Snippet 70, Red Elba 110, Quinella 715, Trifecta 109.95, and the running double was $18.85. Now, apparently that equals the Australasian record, 55.5. I didn't think any... Rain Bird Lover goes to the early lead, narrowly, from Cal Prince, and also in that thick of things, Zoom Cloud, so vague the inside, and in that division, Mistulation Wide. Delonte getting back behind them, and Jazzalata is very deep. Flaming One is actually last, and she's three wide, but there's only about two and a half, three lengths first to last. Over the crossing along the far side, and the leader, Mistulation, now puts the pace into the race. Draws out two lengths to Zoom Cloud, Jazzalata, and then came. In fourth uh, spot there was Rain Bird Lover, but he's giving ground. Cal Prince goes around him so vag inside of him. Further back Delonte and Flaming Wonder. So they go past the 1400 and here Mistulation led by about a half length to Zoom Cloud. Jazzalata has been wide throughout. Now Cal Prince moves to fourth around so vague. Delonte inside of Flaming Wonder and the veteran Galloper on the outside. Rainbird Lover is last of all. They work onto the turn and Mistulation going, being headed by Jazzalata who draws a length and a half clear. So they work down the side. In third position Zoom Cloud so vague on the inside of Cal Prince and then Flaming Wonder on the outside of Delonte and the old timers called it a day Rainbird Lover. So they work down the side and the leader still is Jazzalata a length and a half mistulation. Zoom Cloud poised behind them so vague. On the outside Cal Prince one and a half Flaming Wonder under a half Nelson hold at the moment hasn't let her go and Delonte's on the inside and Rainbird Lover toiling away. They come into the home running now. They've got 6.30 to go and Jazzalata led them up a length to Zoom Cloud. Now he works on Flaming Wonder eases it to the outside but it's Jazzalata racing down to the 450 by a length and a half. Zoom Cloud coming at it. So vague next. Flaming Wonder's gone a miss. She's been pulled up. Something's gone wrong with her. And over on the outside's Delonte followed by Cal Prince and then came Mistulation. So vague has gone to the lead. Delonte's the danger to him. So vague at the 200. A half in front. Delonte pegging it back. So vague Delonte. So vague Delonte clear of Zoom Cloud. So vague plugging away from Delonte. He might hang on. Delonte tries. Can't get there. So vague wins at a neck. Delonte second, third, six lengths away. Zoom Cloud, Jazzalata, Cal Prince, Mistulation. 200 yards away to Rainbird Lover and unfortunately Flaming Wonder has gone amiss. Let's hope that Flaming Wonder's okay because she's a very, very valuable filly, a very good mare. But 1-4-10 over the line. So vague. Colin Hayes, what a day he's having. He won with special in, in uh, Melbourne just a few moments ago and he's won three races of the first five in Adelaide. Ruler and Special now in Adelaide, so vague, 130 and 65, four winners for Colin Hayes, three in Adelaide and one here. 
Delonte 90, Zoom Cloud 335, Quinella 475, Trifecta $97.50. The blamey stakes, Vogue. Cossack Warrior drawn the rails, Saratov next to it. Light on, racing. Vo Rogue bounced out first, I reckon. Drought a bit slow, Cossack Warrior back with Ardranito. Vo Rogue straight to the front, Imprimata is inside out. Draw King of Brooklyn, Bonami, Dandy Andy, Tudor King, Phoenix, Saratov, Ardranito. A half length further back then to Cossack Warrior and Drought. Vo Rogue's away at the 1200, five links in Primata and Smalls letting him run today. A length, King of Brooklyn, two to our draw. Bonamy's got a beautiful position, fifth, two to Dandy Andy. A length and a half, King Phoenix as the leader goes further ahead. Then Saratov, Ardranito and Cossack Warrior and two to Drought. Well at the thousand, Vo Rogue must be eight lengths in front of him, Primata, two to uh, King of Brooklyn. A length and a half hour draw, Bonamy next, two to Dandy Andy, one to King Phoenix, scrubbed off, Saratov the inside. Ardranito outside, Cossack Warrior and still Drought last. Vo Rogue, eight in front at the 500, and he looks to be going all right. Second in Primata, two to King of Brooklyn. Bonamy's travelling nicely, fourth, giving the leader 10 lengths. Around the outside, King of Fe King Phoenix further back on the field to Dandy Andy. Drought hooked out and Cossack Warrior. Vo Rogue at the 400, led by six lengths. In second placing, Bonamy. Then in Primata, two to King Phoenix. Drought out deep and Cossack Warrior. Vo Rogue with a big lead. He's five in front. Bonamy given a crack with a whip. A length away, King Phoenix and Drought, but Vo Rogue still six in front of Bonamy. King Phoenix and Cossack Warrior. But this is a mighty horse from Queensland. Vo Rogue's eight lengths in front of Bonamy and King Phoenix. And have a look at Cyril Small. Hands and heels as he hits the line and breaks a record. 134 for Vo Rogue. Bonamy, Cossack Warrior and King Phoenix. Then drought behind those horses. Dandy Andy, Saratov, Ardranito, uh, further back King of Brooklyn. Our draw and imprimata. Well, what a horse he is, Keith. Great horse, great ride, and a great call. Bruce, you put the drama into that as we watched it unfold. Vo Rogue, the real champion, winning in record time. Oh, what a day we've had, Keith, with special and flotilla, and now I reckon the daddy of them all topping it off. It's a day that promised so much, and the third goes to Cossack Warrior, the stable mate of Bonamy. It's a day that promised so much, and it delivered it all and more. Well, Vic Rail said he might eventually have the best horse we've ever seen well you know we've had some mighty ones and ones that have got a better record than this fellow but i've never seen a horse win so easily there's there's bart i'd like to know what bart's saying about it well he'd like to have it in his stable he's probably saying just that now he too like us all must be admiring a wonderful horse this is racing at its best that is a horse that you would go anywhere to see. A fantastic record-breaking performance. Look at him go. This is weight for age racing. Uh, behind Bow Rogue are some of the best weight for age performers you could uh, get together in a field. They've won a stack of prize money, and he is making them look second-rate. Well, Small was hands and heels at the 200. He hadn't laid the whip on him, Keith. Bonamy's run a great race. King Phoenix is battling on. Cossack Warriors coming home well, but... To run 134, I know it's an exceptional day, the wind's in the right direction and all that, but the, the quantity and the quality of the victory is quite outstanding. The wind might be of assistance, it, it is of assistance, but I'll tell you what, it wasn't of assistance only to Beau Rogue, it's helping them all. Keith, Buck Cummings has trained some of the very best. Let's go down and see what he says. At the barrier in Adelaide. In fact, light on and they're, they're off. Set. They're racing now. And away they go on the Zambari. And Star for us away nicely with Real Mover. Showing speed, flying kiss. Princess Calabrina makes a line of four as they go to the crossing. Followed by Miss Rim Rocket. And two lengths away, elusive Gambler Swift Expression. So they race along the far side. And here the leader, Princess Calabrina, drops to the rail. About a neck in advance of flying kiss the outside. Two lengths away, Star for us. Followed then by Real Mover. One and a half lengths further back in the field, Miss Rimrocker gaining a little bit of ground, and they were followed further back by Elusive Gambler as they make the turn, and further back in the field, Swift Expression. Princess Calabrina being joined by Flying Kiss again as they work and go past the 800 by two and a half star for us outside of Real Mover. One and a half, Miss Rimrocket, one and a half then to Elusive Gambler, nearly two lengths away to Swift Expression before the turn, and here the leader racing past the 600 metre point is Flying Kiss the outside by a neck to Princess Calabrina. One length star for us 
Brass. Real Mover held up for run. Can't get out at the moment. Has to ease back slightly to the outside Miss Rim Rocket. And this puts Elusive Gambler even deeper. She's about five wide as they race to the 400. Princess Calabrina the inside. Flying Kiss now coming at them. Star for us. And Elusive Gambler joins in with a searching run. Elusive Gambler pounds up on the outside and joins Star for us. Real Mover getting between horses. Star for us fights back. Real Mover the outside. Real Mover. Star for us. Star for us. Real Mover. There's nothing in it. Elusive Gambler on the outside, I should say, and Star for Us, Star for Us, Elusive Gambler from Real Mover, there's nothing in it. Star for Us or Elusive Gambler from Real Mover, Flying Kiss, followed by Swift Expression, and dropping right out towards the tail, Princess Calabrina and Miss Rimrocket. Very close there between Elusive Gambler on the outside and Star for Us on the rail. There's nothing between them, Real Mover and third placing. In the previous race, Vaux Rogue 70 and 55, Bonhomie 80, Cossack Warrior 160, Quinella 135, Trifecta 1520 and the double, the running double for special Vaux Rogue 1785. Two horses who today have broken records. In Adelaide, star for us, 210 and 130, Elusive Gambler 80, no third for real mover, Trifecta 4255, Quinella 230. Wait for the light, red opaque drawn one, Noble Kit in two, a stayer, but he has got speed. Now the track about to be cleared from behind. All clear about to be given. I must have tendered him with one about uh, barrier five or six, probably Chantaroon or on Chanteur. Light on racing. And the uh, starter caught them in a perfect line. Order up, dropped out after the start with Noble Kid and Benefactor. Testimony away, faster lead. Foamy Ocean ridden hard in the early stages. Black Charleston's third. Call Me the Breeze trapped a bit deep. Eastern Classic nice and handy around Duke Abbey. A length of Bahrain. Two to south of Belmont showing pace surprisingly. Crush midfielders are going quickly early. Then Benefactor, well back Chantaroon. Two to Noble Kit, three to Red Opaque, one to on Chanteur and a length away order up. Going up to the 900 and testimony on the inside, Foamy Ocean the outside, a length and a half Black Charleston. A half to Duke Abbey, a length Call Me The Breeze, a length away Eastern Classic getting a good run. One to Bahrain off the rail, a length and a half to Crush on the outside of South of Belmont. Two to Benefactor, a half Noble Kit, Chanteroon fourth last, Red Opaque on Chanteur last and order up in front of it. On the turn, testimony led a half length Foamy Ocean, a length Duke Abbey. One under Black Charleston, Eastern Classic being wound up, call me the breeze, Bahrain. Crush coming with a very good run and further back, Benefactor and Noble Kit. Testing of Dean being tackled by Foamy Ocean, they're two links in front of Call Me The Breeze, Crush out wide, Eastern Classic, Foamy Ocean just in front of Testimony, Crush is coming home hard out wide, Foamy Ocean in front, Crush over the top of it though, Crush goes up to Foamy Ocean, is finishing too well, and Crush is going to win from Foamy Ocean and Testimony, Call Me The Breeze fourth, then Benefactor Bahrain, further back on the field would have been Red Opaque, uh, behind it Chanteroon, Eastern Classic, Black Charleston, South of Belmont, Noble, Kid Order up, and the last couple to finish on, Chanteur and Duke Abbey. Trebled for Greg Hall, Ron. 95, Testimony 120. Quinella 475, the trifecta $60.20. Running double 345. Quadrella today was $72.85. The winners um, being Flotilla, Special, and of course, Vaux Rogue and Crush. And the daily double 4145 for Special and Crush. The last Moving up in Adelaide, star for us was 210 and 130 in race six. Elusive Gambler 80, real mover no third. Quinella 230, trifecta $42.55. As they go and race. It was getting away quickly near the inside, Colourful Comet. It's put a space of two lengths in them very quickly from Cameronic Kingmaker on our selection for Deep Turello. A length back on the inside, Scotch Caper joined by Stephen Wolf and then Colonial Chief on the inside of Magic Constev. So they work onto the turn now and the leader, Colourful Comet, going keenly, led by four lengths almost to Cameronic second, third placing held by Torello, then came on our selection, now Kingmaker lost a little bit of ground, dropped back on top of Scotch Caper, around the outside Steppenwolf, then Colonial Chief Magic Constev easing to the outside, colourful comment giving something to chase as they go to the 600, led by five, in second position Cameronic and Torello to the outside winding up, then Steppenwolf with on our selection coming out underneath, and further back Kingmaker, Scotch Caper, Colonial Chief Magic Constev hooks out wide, 400 a run, it's still three in front, Colourful 
Colourful Comet, but Young Carney revs up Cameronic and it's picking it up quickly. Colourful Comet two in front of Cameronic on our selection down the outside. Scott's Caper running a bold race is pushing his way clear. It's Cameronic joining the other one. Colourful Comet. Scotch Caper is starting to shoulder his way home. It's still Cameronic in front of Scotch Caper and Colourful Comet and Kingmaker. It's going to be too good. Cameronic, it'll get home. Big run. Second, Scotch Caper. Third is possibly Kingmaker from Colourful Comet. Colonial Chief and Magic Const have made good ground. They were followed back in the pack by Steppenwolf towards the tail. And in that Division 2, pulling up quickly on our selection, Torello back there with them. Well, possibly over the line, one, three, four. In race seven, Victoria Park, race seven, Cameronic, one, fifteen and sixty, Scotch Caper, one, fifty, Kingmaker, one, thirty, Quinella, ten, twenty-five, Trifecta, seventy-one dollars. The Daily Double in Adelaide for So Vague and Cameronic, the two ones, five dollars, thirty. Three. Light on, racing in the last. Old Kutzbar jumped out well from the inside. Productivity slow and big band last with Clavelli Bay just in front of it and Gold Deck as they settle. And it's Ballywick taking the lead from Super Targe. Educate moving up on the outside. Fayette County in that group of horses. Dynamic Dancer around the outside. Kutzbar on the rail about a length of Clear Sun. Mix Revenge. About a half length away, Happy View trapped a bit deep with Noble Cavalier just in front of it. Just a hobo's got well back, Sound Gold on its inside. Big Band went through on the fence from Zephyr Khan, Productivity, Clovelly Bay and Gold Deck. Well, they're going fairly slowly in this at the moment at the 1400. Now Educate decides to run along. And the old fellow Educate led two lengths, Ballywick getting the run of the race and Dynamic Dancer on his outside. Three to Happy View is nice and close. A length and a half, Super Taj, Noble Cavalier. Two to Kutzbar, Fayette County as they've accelerated. One to Just a Hobo, Clear Sun on its inside, Mixed Revenge three deep around the outside of Sound Gold and Big Band. Clavelli Bay being hooked out and taking off a length and a half away productivity. And Zephyr, Ka oh, Zephyr Khan back last and just in front of it, Gold Deck. 900 out, Educate trying to do a Vaux Rogue. Let three links, Dynamic Dancer, a length and a half, Ballywick. Two to Happy View being scrubbed up, two to Noble Cavalier. Just a Hobo's improved sharply. A length to Mixed Revenge on the inside of those horses, Super Targe, then Kutzbar. Clovelly Bay, Big Band hooked to the outside. Fayette County, Clear Sun around the outside from Zephyr Khan. Productivity, Gold Deck and Sound Gold. On the turn, 400 out. Educate, two to Dynamic Dancer. Ballywick, just a hobo, sustaining a long run from Happy View. Then Noble Cavalier and Clovelly Bay, Big Band and Productivity. Just a hobo goes up with Ballywick at the 300. Ballywick's taken the lead from Just a Hobo. Clovelly Bay, then Big Band and Productivity at the distance. Ballywick about a half in front from just a hobo Clovelly Bay here's Big Band flying with productivity Big Band going up the Valley Whip with 50 to go Big Band's taken the lead from Ballywick and Big Band wins the last Clovelly Bay I reckon got second uh, third was Ballywick and then productivity not far away with Noble Cavalier Oh, Kutzbar in a race then Zephyr Khan Gold Deck Happy View Fayette County just a hobo in that group uh, behind them, Dynamic Dancer, one of the last Sound Gold Educate got tired, Super Targe, Mixed Revenge and Clear Sun. Big Band's won the last. Big Band, 210 and 95, Clavelli Bay, 175, Ballywick, 155, Quinella was 1095, Trifecta, $130.20, running double 930, and the quad extra today, $394.40. Curtain at Talak in the Australian Cup. So this is Bone Crusher, first up for 10 months. Some people thought he'd never race again. It was over a mile. Wingatui Dunedin. Rob Field is the caller, and I can tell you that he gets pretty excited, and why not? Here's Here Bone are. Crusher. Chooka Rooks third on the inside, Bone Crusher racing on its own next and fourth place in. One length away to Taciturn and proving quickly with Cairo Heights, Slick Million the rail, followed then by San Vito at the head of the others with Blimey and dropped out Mr. Winks and Kiss Me Kate. Compact field though, eight lengths covering the lot of them as its heads up for home. And Night Invaders the leader now being joined by Rabinsky and here comes Bone Crusher at them. Down the outside with 250 go, Rabinsky in front and Bone Crusher coming at him quickly down the outside. These two doves slipped away from six million and bone crusher Rabinsky not giving in on the inside he's got half a length on bone crusher Rabinsky's gonna oh it's very very close they go to the line yes you beauty he's just made it by a whisker
and he just got their bone crusher winning from Rubinsky in that race were $30,000 over 1,600 metres. Let's take a break. So we've seen Bone Crusher. I wonder if he's good enough to beat Vaux Rogue. Look, 10.25. Trifecta $71 even. And the Daily Double for the two ones in Adelaide, $5.30. Now they're all set. Racing in the second so bar on a tidy start to jump a mutual boy getting back towards the tower with Speedy Cheval. High Quest no early speed and away nicely in the early part at dust to be a leader. Pearl Cheval going to it, Lord Telbon in that division and so was Sands Court and Sir Ivatan wide. They were followed further back then by making a bit of ground into the action, set for action, followed by Duke of Candice. Howitzer off around the outside and further back lights go up mutual boy High Quest and last of all is Speedy Cheval. Working onto the turn now, off the far side and Sir Ivor Tan wrestled the lead away from the others, led by a length and a half howitzer. In third position on the outside, Duke of Candice, under a thousand to run. Getting back on the inside at dusk, up ahead of it. Getting through on the inside of the next one there was Speedy Cheval, or Pearl Cheval, I should say, followed by Lord Telbon, set for actions a bit deep, but travelling okay. Two lengths, Sands Court lights go up, niggled at from Mutual Boy. High Quest being scrubbed along, and a length away, last of all, is Speedy Cheval. They're on the swing for home now, 6.50 up, and howitzer, one of the leaders, with Duke of Candice, three wide and Sir Ivertown the inside just holding the lead. They were followed by At Dusk who's giving a bit of ground. Now Pearl Cheval running on. Out wide Lord Telbon set for action winding up Sands Court and then lights go up not doing much at all but they race towards the 300 metre mark and Lord Telbon racing greenly out wide shifting about a bit goes up to be a leader with Howitzer in the centre the old timer. Sir Ivertown the rail and Sands Court working home nicely between them the mare but Lord Telbon just in front from Howitzer. Sands Court and Sir Ivertown Lord Telbon races green but he's just in front. Sands Court coming at him. Lord Telbon finds enough and Lord Telbon maybe. Sands Court second, Sir Ivertan third. Howitzer close fourth. Speedy Cheval set for action. High quest. They were both disappointing. At dust, lights go up back in the field. Duke of Candy's knocking up and amongst the last in Mutual Boy. So over the line in the last favour of missing out there, High Quest, it looks to be 5, 11 and 6, 3, 6, $72.85 for Flotilla, Special Vaux Crush, Quad Extra, 8, 3, 13, 4, 3, 94, 40. That was uh, Special and Crush, the double, 41, 45, Extra Double, 8 and 3, Place Your Order Flotilla, $12.25. The 55 and 135, Sands Court, 5.50, Sariva Tam was $1.50. Now the Quinella was... 341.40 divided by two, what's that, about $170.70. And the trifecta was 6,941.80 divided by two, make that $3,481.90. And the extra double in Adelaide was $22.85 for four and five.